Hi, this is Scott Adams with Repertoire Magazine at the 2017 AACC meeting. I'm here with Matt Manley from Roche Diagnostics, and obviously we have flu season coming right around the corner. Shockingly, kids are about to go back to school, so summer's definitely flown by. But Matt, I'm glad you could be here today. Thanks for being with us. Absolutely, Scott. Uh, I'm going to ask him just a couple of questions, kind of best in class practices around flu season. You guys have a new molecular test that's come out in the last year or so. You want to talk a little bit about that and the importance of molecular with testing for flu? Sure. So first of all, <clears throat> we have to acknowledge that flu and other respiratory illnesses place a tremendous burden on schools, emergency departments, physician offices, and of course the patients themselves. And there's been a lot of focus, um, external forces like the FDA reclassification of rapid antigen testing has put a specific focus on the quality of the testing that is available right. for these respiratory illnesses. So for us, as we think about this, we advise healthcare practitioners to be thinking about a couple factors. One is the accuracy of the results that they're getting, and two is the timeliness of these results. Right. So are they getting uh, results that they can make decisions on, and are those results available fast enough to actually make a decision while the patient is in the office? And a final factor that healthcare practitioners should think about is the amount of um, labor and the impact to the workflow of the office. Because in flu season, there can be a lot of patients walking in that door, and if you have tests that require a lot of hands-on time, that can really impact patient care. So in the in the most recent uh, issues of repertoire, we've done some articles around the reclassification of testing for flu, and we're seeing a big trend towards molecular yeah. in the uh, in the POL for sure. Can you talk a little bit about why you think we're seeing that? Yeah, absolutely. I think the growing trend towards mo molecular testing is driven by the recognition of healthcare providers that the existing rapid antigen tests that they use today could be more accurate. In fact, if you look at the sensitivity of some of those assays, they're in the neighborhood of 50%. So to perform a diagnostic decision based upon those results is like flipping a coin. Yeah. But until recently, providers had very few options. While culture and molecular testing have always been more accurate, the problem is they need to be performed in a central lab, and that can take hours, if not days, to get a turnaround time. time right? Of course, they need to make that decision while the patient's there. But this is what's changing because there's new technology that is now emerging um, and providing molecular testing and the molecular certainty that it delivers at the point of care. And even better is that many of these tests are in fact CLIA waived. So you don't need specially trained staff to perform the test. Gotcha, so can you uh, take us through the LIAT just a little bit and tell, tell the audience kind of what the benefits of a customer or a healthcare provider would get for using your product in a molecular fashion? Yeah, absolutely. Cobas LIAT is playing a major part in this molecular evolution that's occurring in the market. So first and foremost, it uses real-time PCR technology. And, and PCR has been the gold standard method of molecular testing. And the benefit to this is that healthcare practitioners and POLs get lab quality results in 20 minutes or less for influenza A and B, for strep A, for RSV. And they can use this information to make definitive decisions. It's a yes or no result. There's no need for interpretation, but perhaps even more importantly, there's no need for confirmation testing. So take strep A, for example. With Cobas Liat, there's no need to send a negative result to a laboratory to be confirmed because of the high sensitivity and the performance of real-time PCR technology. So what this means is that there's a huge benefit for the patient. They get a result while there, and there's a huge benefit for the healthcare provider because now they're able to make a treatment decision and not have to do all the follow-up work that getting a result back two days later would, would cause them to do. And importantly, this allows them to live or better patient care and also contribute towards better antibiotic stewardship, which is a key emerging theme for all of us. And I'd also like to point out that while Cobas Liad delivers fantastic results, it's really easy to use. Three simple steps, 
and about one minute or less of hands-on time. And then the practitioner can go back and taking care of the patient. And while it's easy to use, it's already met the requirements of the FDA reclassification. So I would say in summary, what Cobas Liad is doing is it's helping to usher in this shift and this paradigm change about how respiratory illnesses like flu and strep are being managed at the point of care with molecular certainty that a product like Cobas Liat delivers. And ultimately, this provides better patient care and can help with antibiotic stewardship as well. Matt, that's great information. I appreciate it. One last question for you uh, for the repertoire audience that's watching this. How, they need to get a hold of their Roche rep in the field or learn more about the product. W what do you suggest they do? Yeah, absolutely. So to find more information about Cobas Liat or to find your Roche representative, you can go to US. Uh, diagnostics.roche.com or you can use the Rep uh, App Connect in Repertoire as well. Yeah, the Repertoire's uh, Rep Connect listing has everything from Roche in it and the uh, Rep rosters as well. Matt, thank you so yeah. much for being here Thanks, and guys. have a great show. All right, we'll do. Bye-bye.